So hey guys, welcome to the new video. Today in this video, we are going to see that how can you install and use Cursor AI, which is a AI based code editor. So firstly, let's move in our browser. And here you have to search for Cursor Download. You will see the first link from cursor.com. Just tap on that. And you can see that this is automatically switched from download for from Mac OS to download for Mac OS to download for Windows because it has automatically detected your system version or operating system you are using. So just click on download and uh, just say, uh, click on save button since I have already have this file. So I will just cancel this. So this is the file for cursor. Um, Cursor AI application. Just click on this. Click yes. After that, you will see a setup uh, window for this. Just click on I accept the agreement. This is the license agreement for cursor. You can edit this path where you want to uh, install cursor. I will be installing direct in C drive. Then hit enter. Then hit enter again. After that, you need to make sure that this add to path feature is uh, on. Then click on install. This will take some seconds according to your operating system. You can see that our setup is almost done. Now you can just simply launch cursor. Click on finish button. Now you can see that there is a panel for chat and there is a panel for adding new agent. Since I already downloaded downloaded cursor earlier, so it is not asking for sign up and all that. But when you install for cursor for the first time in your PC, this will ask for like import settings from VS Code and sign up and all. Now in the toolbar at the top, you will see a file tab. Just click on that, and you will see an option called open folder just like VS code you can select your desired folder for opening your project in the side panel you will see several options like one is for new agent and other is for show terminal control plus B will be for uh, showing files in the particular directory now so that was the basic setup now you can just uh, simply Type control plus L to start chat and control plus B for terminal. Sorry, control plus G. Just delete this terminal. And now we will open a new file that is app.py. Let me adjust this. Okay, sorry guys. Let me. Uh, completely adjust this you will see several commands like one command will be for inline generation like control plus l uh, is for chat when you press control plus l you will be directed to your chat box and if you want inline generation let me adjust this and then i will show you sorry guys okay so this was the window now let's close this terminal if you want inline generation you can just simply press this button that is control plus k and i will ask the jupyter to add some extra features add some extra features this will start generating my code and we can just simply accept that code Now if you want to keep it, you can just simply click keep button. I have accepted the code. Now you can see that the code has been modified as per my requirements. So that's it for today's video guys. Now let's see you next time.